Gesture Coder, a tool for programming multi-touch gestures by demonstration. In this video, we will show how a developer can easily create multi-touch behaviors in an application with Gesture Coder. Imagine we want to create an application that allows a user to manipulate a triangle with multi-touch gestures such as one finger panning and two finger zooming. In a realistic application, the triangle could be any specific object, such as a map. Here we have a typical setup for Android development. A tablet is connected through the USB port with a laptop running Eclipse. For this demonstration, we have skipped the details of creating the Android project and instead focus on adding multi-touch behaviors, the challenging part of this application. When we first run the application, it already displays a green triangle at the center of the tablet, but it does not react to touch input. To add multi-touch behaviors to the application, we begin by adding a gesture coder file to the project, which will store all the gesture examples that we demonstrate in gesture coder. This launches gesture coder as an Eclipse plugin. A developer can access the major functions of Gesture Coder through the three buttons on the toolbar, the Add button to add gesture examples, the Test Run button to test the generated recognizer, and the Export button to export the gesture recognizer as Java code. Clicking on the Add button brings up the Add Gesture window and initiates a gesture sampling application on the connected tablet showing a blank screen. While we perform a gesture on the tablet, the gesture will be visualized in Gesture Coder simultaneously. Here we add an example for the one finger panning gesture and give it the name Pan. Similarly, we can add an example for the two finger zooming gesture. We can add multiple examples for a gesture. Here we add a second example for the zoom gesture. In about three minutes, we could add examples for all the six target gestures. To find out if Gesture Coder has learned our target gesture set, we click on the Test Run button, which brings up the Test Run window. Similar to the window for demonstrating gesture examples, the window visualizes the trace captured on the tablet. At the same time, as we test out each target gesture, Gesture Coder continuously updates the recognition results in the console at the bottom of the window. A developer can easily verify if the generated recognizer has correctly recognized a gesture and improve recognition by correcting misrecognized gesture or explicitly adding more examples. Once satisfied, we can click on the Export button to export the learned recognizer as a Java file under the project. To integrate the generated recognizer into our project for manipulating the triangle object, we first create a recognizer object and then pass low-level touch events to it. Next, we connect application-specific actions with gesture input by registering callbacks for each gesture. For example, we want to invoke zoom in when a user performs a double tap. We can test what we have implemented so far on the tablet. We then add the callbacks for the rest of the gestures. Because panning, zooming, and tilting require continuous feedback during gesturing, we invoke corresponding actions in their on-change methods. Now we can test our complete application. In summary, Gesture Coder allows a developer to easily create multi-touch behaviors by demonstration. It significantly lowers the threshold of programming multi-touch gestures.